Hey y'all, welcome to Horrible Gaming. My name is Nora and on today's video we are doing two different ideas with the new Monsters Inc. restaurant items. Today I will be creating an interior and exterior build for today's speed build. As always, I hope that today's video brings you some Disney Dream My Valley inspiration and I appreciate the support so very much. Today I'm also collaborating with one of my greatest friends ever named I'm Not Dead Jet on YouTube. It would mean the absolute world to me if you would go check out her channel as she's doing some ideas with these items today too. As we we also get started today i'd appreciate if you'd hit that like subscribe and notify button if you want to see more content like this in the future it really does help me out so for today's first build we're obviously doing our interior and i'm gonna go very traditional sushi restaurant sort of vibes in here i was actually kind of shocked with how big the screens are in this item set but i'm not going to complain too much because the items are just absolutely beautiful and so well done so for the layout of this room i'm gonna keep it pretty simple because these items are pretty big so it's going to be a little bit difficult to kind of figure out how I want everything to blend. But I'm gonna go for almost like an L shape with the screen items. And then around these items, we're gonna do some smaller sitting areas. I may also squeeze in one of the aquarium items because I think this would add such a nice pop of color with all the red tones. I will also be using some of the turning red items in today's speed build too, just because it really complements the color scheme of the Monsters Inc. restaurant. So if you're wondering where to get some of these items, hopefully they'll rotate back in the shop soon. Now, since the Monsters Inc. table that came with the restaurant set is a little too big for this room. We're gonna do a small sitting area using an end table. I believe that this is actually from the Mickey Mouse collection and so is the rug that's underneath of it. And then I used two chairs that I actually customized and made myself with the Touch of Magic item. Something I do wish that this item set came with was actually the wallpaper that you see behind the prep station for the sushi restaurant. I love that orange color and just the pattern on the wall just in general. I think it would have been really cool to include that as an additional wallpaper to the set. So I do hope that in future packages they do in the premium shop that they incorporate maybe some more wallpapers that we can use with these wonderful items that they gave us. Anyways, after a few more final details, here's how our first build turned out in today's speed build. I absolutely love it and I hope y'all did too. And of course, I hope I brought you some inspiration. Before I move on to the exterior build, we will do a final walkthrough of how this interior turned out just so you can see that it's fully functional and you can walk throughout the entire build. For the exterior build today, this actually took me a little bit longer to figure out as it was really difficult to kind of give the illusion that this is a building outside. I honestly wish they would have gave us the Monsters Inc. restaurant building to kind of go with this set. I think that could have been such a cool additional piece to decorate both the inside and exterior of it. So I'm hoping that in the future they give us more buildings. They've really been delivering on the premium shop lately. So definitely manifesting for us that we get maybe some restaurant buildings in a future update. So I think I'm going to go for almost like an L shape with this building just to kind of give the illusion that it's a large restaurant and we're gonna do a really nice zen garden vibe in front of it. The zen garden item that you're seeing me use is actually a craftable item that you can make at your workbench. So since I'm going for a zen garden sort of vibe in front of the restaurant we're gonna do two zen garden pieces and then I'm gonna use the rocky terrain and kind of like frame it in with I think it's just like the simple gravel path but that's gonna go underneath the rocky terrain and it's just gonna give it a really nice texture and great contrast just like you see in the the Zen Garden item. Now to kind of get this somewhat symmetrical so the rocky terrain actually lines up in a perfect square, we're gonna kind of space out the Zen Garden items just a little bit. And in between this, I'll be placing a bamboo plant and a turning red statue. And next I'm gonna go ahead and continue working on the details around our Zen Garden. For the wood flooring, I made a customized rug and I just went for a simple pattern that had like a wood texture to it. It was a lot of trial and error to get the color to sort of blend with the restaurant. So that's what we're gonna use underneath all of our building pieces. This will also give us a nice trim around our Zen Garden Center piece too. Thank you. 
Next, I thought using the vine wall behind this building's empty space looked really nice and kind of added a nice lush effect to the build. If you didn't like this option, you could go with maybe a couple of bookshelves, but I just thought it really gave such a beautiful green touch to the Zen Garden vibe that I'm trying to go for. My build is definitely getting very close to being done, so really that's all that's left to do is just detail some of the empty spaces, and then we're going to do a little bar area as well. Since I don't really have any Zen benches or cushions like you see on Animal Crossing, I'm going to kind of do a similar effect by using the red piano benches as I thought this matched the table really nicely. And then I used two of the turning red lanterns behind the table and the bamboo item that you're seeing is a Wreck-It Ralph item and I found that also in Scrooge's. For my bar area, I'm going to be using the Wanderer table and this is a premium shop item. It's like a bunch of Buzz Lightyear collection items all together. I just really like that this added another wood toned element to the building but if you didn't want to use this, I think just using a red kitchen island would look just as nice. I'm gonna go ahead and continue detailing the Zen Garden area and also placing any additional items that I think would suit the build best, and then we'll go ahead and do a final walkthrough of how today's exterior build turned out. After all my final details, here's how the build officially looks. I hope that today's idea video brought you some Disney Dream My Valley inspiration. Before today's video ends, I do want to give a huge shout out to all of my channel members. Thank you so much for supporting me as a creator. Just your support in general means the world to me. Thank you so much for watching and have a horrible day.